since the like second there were two pink lines on the pregnancy test, I started Googling anything and everything. This man went back to bed. <laughs> yeah. Why shouldn't you fully submerge a baby in water probably the first week or two? Like poopy diaper. How would you do this? What would you do first? His oh. mind is blown. <laughs> What is up, everybody, and welcome back to our Klein podcast. Um, we don't officially have a name, so I guess I just gave it a name. But we're so excited because we have how many hours into baby? Um, not I don't know, like when the baby will come. Yeah, but in two days. Two days. Forty hours. No, like forty-three ish hours. Everything will start. For gotcha. sure. Yeah. So for people who don't know, we are doing um, scheduled induction. So that's kind of why mm -hmm. we're like, we ha we know what time. Yes. Wait, why? Do you, would you mind talking about why we're even doing that? Because obviously I'm a man. <laughs> and so I was just like, I understand why you would want to do something like why that. Do you think that. Why do you think I would choose it? Without getting to like, this is the way it should be. Because I believe that every woman who goes through birth and the birthing process needs to choose what's best for them. Why do you think I would choose an induction? Pain? You don't want... No, that's, an induction is typically more painful. What? Yes. I really but an didn't epidural know that. and an induction are two different things. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, I know an epidural is different because that, like, makes you numb. Yes. And an induction is basically, I don't know why you took, oh, because you're, like, you just like to know stuff and you're a planner. Yes, and how big is our baby in measuring? Oh, right now, okay, I think baby, this is a good question to see how much I'm paying attention. I think baby is measuring 7.14 right now. Seven pounds. 14 ounces mm. you really wouldn't say like 7.14 but almost eight pounds but baby has been measuring 88th percentile this whole time and it like constantly i'm seeing like you're five days ahead you're seven days ahead you're six days ahead and i'm like oof well <laughs> oh my gosh let's get a normal size baby out i'm gonna let the cats in and i'm not gonna cut anything I, out of this podcast I by the way i literally thought that that was the roomba because we had the Roomba going. I thought that it was the Roomba, but it's actually Charlie. And he just yelled, yelled at Joe as he was letting him in. And what's funny is they've already eaten, so don't know why they're yelling. They, they know something's going on. Joe doesn't think that they know anything's going on. But I think they know that something is going on. And so they are constantly wanting to be in the same room as us. Yeah. To make sure that... You know. Yeah. We're on all of a sudden three people. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But obviously they don't understand that we're going to go to the hospital and then be three people. Yeah. So we want it to we, – or we just – we kind of just podcast whenever we want at this point or do film content whenever we want. But we decided to do it now because we wanted to kind of talk – like, it's exciting. And so we wanted to talk about our emotions coming up to it, um, just – everything about baby like um and like how's the process going i don't know like some of that stuff really just more of our emotions so how are you feeling um sometimes i think about it and i'm like is this even happening is this real even though i very much like physically feel that i am pregnant to an extreme um like obviously the pains and feeling baby move all the time and um all of that but i sometimes i'm like is this even real is this happening um but i'm 100 percent excited i feel like i'm ready as i can be mm -hmm. i know that it's going to be learning and i think that we will learn each other in a completely new way um like just how we handle a child in a completely different way. Um, but, yeah, 
think I'm nervous, but I mean, I don't think that we're unequipped. So I think that, I think we're good. Yeah. So I was getting my hair done and uh, the lady who's doing my hair, she was like. Doesn't he look cute? He like went to go get it and he didn't tell me where he was going. And then he came back like four hours later because it takes four hours. And then I was like, oh, my gosh, you're so cute. Hello, Dad. <laughs> oh, thank you. She was like, so how's the Braxton, his contractions coming? And I was like, don't even get me started. You have no idea. I was like, honestly, I want to say that they, those started, like, pretty, like, strong, like, at least three weeks ago or more. In May. So. I had Braxton Hicks contractions in May. So a month ago? That's two months ago. Yeah, two, I, yeah, I knew it was a long time. I just didn't want to exaggerate. But, yeah, so I was like, yeah, don't even get me started, basically, because, yeah. But um, I'm trying to think, how do I feel? I'm starting to get a little nervous. Yeah. I don't know why nervous. I'm just like, obviously, everything is about to completely change. Like, that's what's crazy to me that it's about to be completely different. Yeah. But I'm trying to not focus on too much about like the future right now. Like, in, I mean, in my words right now and think about how I feel now to ground myself. But I think I'm just, I'm a little bit nervous. I'm a little bit anxious. But I'm also, I'm just curious. I'm like, how's this going to work? <laughs> How's this baby going to like what are we gonna do with a baby? Like what is this baby gonna do with us? <laughs> like <laughs> I don't know. You know? Um but I feel like it's gonna be a lot of learning, which I am excited about because I love to learn. Um Yeah. Do you think that you're more nervous about like the birth part or like taking care of a baby? Because, like, I mean, as a man, you're just, like, sitting on the sidelines and you're, like, I can encourage all I all I can and be a part is all I can. But, like, you know, it's me giving birth. But, like, you're an active role in taking care of a baby. Um, I don't think I'm nervous at all about the birthing process. Okay. Um, That's good. Because <laughs> I think you were. Like, when you first were, like, what is birth? <laughs> Like two years ago, yeah, that was like four years ago. You were like, really, like, what the heck is this? Yeah, but I think that. But then I dove in deep and like started <laughs> watching like birth videos, and then I started like looking it up on Instagram. You'd be surprised what all you could show when it's birth, apparently on Instagram. So, oh my goodness, I like basically, uh, what do you call it? I um. I can't think of the word, but basically, I made myself success. Uh, su how you say it? Su su susceptible. Successful or susceptible? Su yeah, that word. The second one. Susceptible. Susceptible. Susce susceptible. Susceptible. <laughs> I have of. a lisp. Success. <laughs> I can't say it, but to the birthing process. Uh, fathering. No, that doesn't make me nervous. Um, because there's so much information out there that I can read and I will or watch, which we need to watch that one video. He's talking about. So when we did our birthing class, they were they showed a lot of like natural birth. They didn't really go too much into inductions and epidurals. And so he's like, yeah, I'll be there. Like, I got you every contraction, all this. Like, I, I can do that. And I'm like. Okay, but I think, like, if it's going to go how, like, I think it's going to go, which means I'm going to get an induction, and it's going to take a while, and then I'm going to get an epidural, and then I just won't be feeling very much at all. Like, I think you're going to be bored at some point. And yeah. so I looked up a couple of, like, vlogs where they were, like, talking hour by hour, like, what was going on, and... um so I was like, I think we need to watch this vlog together and then talk about it afterwards because I'm going to love an epidural. I just know it. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so you were asking me, do I know the difference between an epidural and... I don't think I fully understand still, other than, like, the... Um, so is there epidural and then the induction. The induction is basically you're just scheduling your pregnancy. Birth is different than pregnancy. Oh, sorry. But <laughs> you're scheduling your pregnancy. I mean, your birth. <laughs> <laughs> you're scheduling your birth. Yes, but what was like what's the drug that they're going to give me Mosacillin. Tries to think of the biggest uh, doctor word <laughs> or like drug word that you know without saying like cocaine. <laughs> um uh wait 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 wait. Penicillin. <laughs> it starts with a P, but it's not penicillin. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's Pitocin is what they'll give me. Yeah, no, I would not have. I, I've, I've heard that word, but yes, I would not have. Yeah. I remember hearing it. So that is class. going to do what? Um, That is, oh, is that what they're going to put in your back? No, that's the epidural. That's what I thought. <laughs> It'll okay. just go through like an IV. Oh, that's gonna like basically. It's gonna. I don't know what specific, uh, specifically it does, but I know it's gonna prepare you better for no, no, because they're gonna prepare me or try to get me prepared the night before. So they'll start the pitocin on Saturday morning. Oh, I don't know what that is, and that will st start like contractions. I don't know. Because contractions are what How gets that the do baby that? out. Um, it's just stimulating a hormone that would already be in my body. Assuming baby is like healthy, what, or no, no, no. Immediately after, what did I say that we're listening for? A cries. Cries, yes. But the cry is part of what? An Apgar score. What? Yes, I, I told you this during the um, uh, birth. That sounds like a dinosaur. <laughs> Say it it's, again. It's like. Uh, Say the word again. Apgar. So the, they will. Apgar. Apgar. That sounds like something from Thor. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a planet. Okay. <laughs> In Thor. Oh, well. <laughs> um, anyways. <laughs> um, our baby is not from a different planet. Um, it's not a Okay, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna it's it's like a acronym. It stands. No, for no, no. Stuff. I said I'm gonna be quiet because I almost gave. I almost started playing with uh, pronouns, oh. and I was like, "Let me chill out." Okay. <laughs> I was about to be like little god or goddess from a uh, you know Thor, but I almost said one specifically. So. <laughs> Anyways, it's like a num. It's a number one to ten, and it's based on like color their movement, their breathing, um, all of that. And it's a 1 to 10. You will never get a 10, basically, is what I hear. Um, it's never going to be perfect. But oh. it's like a number that they will specifically listen for. Or yes. it's like someone will like. And so if they don't say it, then that's probably when I would ask you like. Yeah. Or want you to be like. Do you have an Apgar score? Like, what's the... I remember. How would you rate the baby? I you remember know? you talking about yeah, that's, that. I just I know that know that's, like, really important. What the name... Right after. Apgar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then that happens, and then... Um, then what do we get to do? Well, assuming baby, like, you right. know, we're in the right position and everything, like, baby will begin feeding. Like, we'll go straight to feeding or trying to yeah, feed. Yeah, it's called, like, skin to skin. Yeah. And so I well, would Well, I get, thought it was like actually feeding. Yeah, they would hope we would hope that that would naturally occur. It's just you have to always look at like you're not going to shove food on anybody's face. Yeah. But you have to look at any cues of is baby hungry? Is baby ready to eat? I think hopefully. I got it. I got it from here. So it's feeding, then it's which is basically skin to skin with mm -hmm. you, but then skin to skin with me is obviously not feeding. It's just skin to skin. Like, I give you full permission that when it's your turn, you take off your shirt. <laughs> yeah. Like. <laughs> no, she doesn't give me full permission. 
she t- she's told me you need to take off your shirt. Yeah. Well, yeah. I told you that I I was like, do you want like a zipped up hoodie so that you didn't feel like exposed, or would you want? To- I asked you this question. Do you remember this? Uh, yeah. And you said like, no, nah, I just take off my shirt. I've thought about it. I've had dreams about it, and I had like a white tee on in my dreams. And you rip and, it off, and I just went. <laughs> <laughs> And pack you any white tees. <laughs> yeah, what that 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 probably scared them nurses. <laughs> Black guy with dreads. <laughs> Come here, child. <laughs> skin the skin. So then after that happens, uh, I think they're gonna. Okay, here's a good question. This is actually real. So do I think I'm pretty sure baby goes to Nick you, but I'm not no, sure no, if no, the no, baby no. goes to Nick you all the time unless it's something bad. Yeah. It, if something is concerning, then they might take... Oh, wait, wait. I know what's happening. We're waiting for the um, placenta. Yeah, that would happen while I am have baby on me. Yes. And During probably at that point, I just don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But that's like the third <laughs> phase of uh, birth. Good job. Right? Yes. Yeah. But... The They're important, the last or whatever. Yeah, the last phase. Um, but the most important phase for me, I mean, really, it's like one and two. No, two is the most important for me because that's the mo- That's like one is like happy, the happy period. Um, they say depending on if you you know have an epidural, and yeah. that's and that's when they say that like you'd probably be able to like talk during contractions yeah um but they say typically like or what she was saying and obviously you can correct me if like i like joke around in yeah between. they were like go like you know wife may want to go walk at the mall or around the parking lot or around the neighborhood at this time yeah or, if you're in early, early labor but if i'm getting an induction then I will yeah we be won't stuck in the bed. obviously yeah we won't have that but then phase two is the part where like I need to know or be like ready for the stretches, ready for um, no, no because I will I will have the epidural during one. Oh. Once I start feeling pain, I'm asking for the epidural. So I won't do any of that stuff. No, oh. that's what I'm saying. Okay, so that's so so <laughs> so so then at that point. I will be using my kind words. Mm -hmm. And you'll be, if I can have water, then like, you know, getting me some water and, you know, making sure my phone's charged. (laughs) Yeah. And like, you know, that's when I was saying like, while we're just waiting, Mm -hmm. you can like obviously be like editing a video or watching your favorite podcasters or I don't know. Yeah. What you like to do on your laptop. But, um, you know, what I just didn't think about this is important. I need to make sure that everything that I may want to edit during that time is already backed up to my hard drive before we leave. Because I imagine that, like, the hospital guest Wi Fi is not going to be, like, any what close to what I have at home. So, yeah, I know it's probably not. But I bet you, it, I bet you, it'd be just good enough for like streaming and watching YouTube videos. But downloading anything, yeah. So that'd be, yeah. I need to do, make sure I do that. I'll get that started tonight. Yeah, um, but I'm saying like while we're waiting and while it's like pretty chill, I'm giving you full permission to like go to the cafeteria in the morning for breakfast. Go to Arkansas and do a shoot. Heck no. <laughs> Do not leave the hospital. <laughs> but like, I mean, I wouldn't, I I would be like jealous, but I wouldn't even be mad if like you ordered a good cup of coffee and like had it delivered to you for Uber Eats. Like that wouldn't even like bother me or like. You can't have any? No. Mm, you know what? Another good thing you said. And I probably, probably wouldn't want you to like eat in front of me. But like, if you're like, I'll be back in like 10 minutes. I, coffee would be fine, but like, yeah, if you you know got something from the cafeteria or you went to the vending machine and you like scarfed down a bag of chips, scarfed down, I don't know, a fruit cup from the cafeteria, like that's fine. Mm-hmm. 
and like I'm giving you full permission because I think well there's gonna be a lot of like waiting and just waiting around yeah no that makes sense that makes a lot more sense okay because I think by the from from like the time we get there Mm -hmm. on Friday it could take as little as 12 hours but it could take like probably up to 48 hours is pretty average. Mm. And so obviously the first 12 hours will be the middle of the night. And I'm like, please save your energy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Uh, okay. So then. But while I'm actually like giving birth, pushing out the baby, if you so much as like look away, <laughs> I'll probably be angry. Uh, <laughs> if you yeah. like let go of my hand, I'll probably be angry. Oh, let's talk about content during out throughout this all. Okay. Because there is some stuff that like has been requested of me. I will be bringing a camera. Yes. Um, and so. What's your new toy that you just bought? Sorry, your new piece of gear for your professional <sighs> life. It's not. Maybe. Talking about the Insta360 camera? Yeah, but like the new, new one, right? Yeah, so I had an Insta360 camera, an old one, but basically for anyone who's not tech, basically what that is is it's a camera that's probably about, it's a little bit, it's like half of this size, and it records 360, and so you can completely reframe it later in post. So... Yes, a camera on this side and the camera. Check out his YouTube video where he has reviewed it. I don't think I have yet. I'm about to. I thought that was your video that you just recorded yesterday. Oh, no. (laughs) Never mind. (laughs) No. Check out his video in three months where he's reviewed it. Yeah, that video was me (laughs) testing it out. Gotcha. But it was testing two cameras out at the same time. Testing out the 360 that was recording me, testing out the other camera. And then I'm going to use the 360 footage to compare to another because I've done other shoots. So now we know what he's editing while I'm yeah. getting ready. But so, yeah, we have that. So I upgraded to a, a higher quality one. Um, and it can attach a microphone onto it. Because that was the most important thing for you. During whenever baby comes out. Is yes. being able to have like pretty good audio. Yes, I really want like, you know, the first cries. And so I think that when we go in, part of, like, my preferences will be, like, I mean, unless there's, like, an emergency, Mm -hmm. I want to, like, quietness in the room when we hear the first cry. Yeah. It would be so sweet. Just have that. Yeah. And we'll probably, like, I'm sure we'll, like, do you want, maybe I'll. I really hope all of our other kids get this much attention. I know I'm so excited for this first baby, but I, like, I don't know. I want to give as much energy (laughs) as kids god willing we have more but um will i take video clips during i mean obviously like not during during the birthing process we'll just have that little camera that just sits away um not really exposing anything um no i think that like it's important to me that it's like a moment between us yeah but I, I mean, the 360 camera will record the whole thing, and so. No, I guess I'm talking about like during like Friday night, Saturday morning. Oh yes, yes. Like, I want to have like a hospital, like like birth vlog. Yes. Okay. So I'll do that. I'll birth vlog, and then I think. And I'd, then you have to help me with record my TikToks. Oh, oh, okay. I know you have some lined up. I did. I told you. <laughs> For the hospital. Yeah. I know one, but I don't necessarily I think there's fit like the, the skin tone five. of that, that TikTok. But oh. we still are going to do it. <laughs> you want to share what that one is? Uh, it's that area code song. Because apparently we get steak and lobster. And so I was like, oh my gosh. Well, we get it as a celebration. Yeah, we get like a celebration dinner or something like that. Texas is apparently really fancy. Yeah. Um, and uh, I was like, oh, we could finally record that thing. Like... <laughs> Yeah, he so the song, pasta and lobster, the but song he's goes, not white, so uh, I'm white. got a white boy on my roster. He be feeding me pasta and lobster. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lobster. I don't know why I said like that. Lo- <laughs> got a white boy on my roster. I'm going to get copyright strikes. But anyways, Although that's I the song. I just said area codes. People know what that is. Yeah, well, <laughs> Anthony, you're welcome. <laughs> 
because I know that you didn't know what that is. That's her father, for those who didn't know. And if you do, Lita's I'm sorry. A sweet man. I'm sorry that you do know, and I thought you didn't. But I, I was I was thinking of you, honestly, just then. I was like, Anthony's going to watch this, and he doesn't know. He's a sweet man. So, but it's yeah. So, know. okay, I'll record your TikToks, and then we'll have a vlog. Uh, when should I not vlog? When should you not vlog? Yeah. Um, when anyone has a hand near anything <laughs> like when i'm being checked that's the only time that's off limits you sure if i'm like sleeping okay well you just ask me like yeah hey you want to give an update to, to the vlog okay sure yeah but don't just like again i'm like assuming that everything goes well mm-hmm the only reason I was asking is because obviously, like, for those who don't know, like, we're new to creating content together. So it's like a little bit of a learning curve that we're going through for probably the next year. And because um, eventually we'll get to where I can just know, like, don't record right now. Or, I mean, I feel like maybe I have that now, but I just wanted to ask just to make sure. Yeah, I think it's just like, you know, let's give an update. Yeah. I think it'd be fun. I'm excited. And then once we... Okay, here's my, I guess, like, closing out this section, like, of the podcast. After 40 minutes. Huh? <laughs> After, like, 40 minutes. Uh, yeah, 33. <laughs> so closing out this section. Like, I was... Okay, so Baby is out. Um, phase three is done. Um, like the like my doctor is gone because my doctor leaves as soon as like every as soon as baby is out, doctor is gone. I, we won't see her until my appointment at six weeks. Okay, so when do we go home? How soon do we go home? Um, so that so you forgot another important part where they will oh name. Well, we have to fill out the birth certificate stuff, obviously, but like they have to weigh the baby. Um like check how long the baby is and do some like vitals and stuff. And then um, any vaccine that we get, that the baby is allowed to get within the first like 24 hours of birth. Mm. Um, they'll do like a sponge bath. Um, and then basically they're looking for a few signs from me mm -hmm. and they're looking for a few signs from baby um, and they should communicate all of those things. So I'm assuming if we give birth Saturday afternoon, mm -hmm. I would say that we could either go home Sunday afternoon mm -hmm. or like first thing Monday morning. Um, if it is like later into it, like if it's later into like Saturday, like super soon, like 11 p.m. on Saturday, then it would definitely be Monday morning. Mm. Um, but this is, again, is assuming that things go well. Um, but, yeah, mm. should be about – it would – if everything is, like, healthy, then we should be discharged within mm. less than 48 hours, absolutely. And then <laughs> – Then we're home. Mm, that's when – Parenting starts. <laughs> Parenting's already started. We've made decisions for our baby that I think are impactful. Whether they've been hard or easy. Yeah. You know, we bought this townhouse to have a nursery. We decided on a car seat. We've decided like what's important and to kind of splurge money on and not important and mm. yeah for sure i think that's all i have do you have something else oh, for the whole podcast yeah oh, okay because i mean? told you i, was I like, know you have some questions yeah what I do you think have that's fun uh this is just like 21 questions that you should ask which i thought that, that's what we we're gonna do the whole time yeah but i thought that that was fun yeah i know Okay, how about let's 
let's do some more like dad on the hot seat kind of thing. Oh. Okay. All right. <laughs> um that's hot. Why can't you or why Wait, give an introduction to this one. Look in that camera. Give okay, it Okay, so clear. this is dad on the hot spot. So I literally since the like second there were two pink lines on the pregnancy test. I started Googling anything and everything. This man went back to bed. <laughs> yeah. He was like, is this real? What's going on? He'd slept in for a couple more hours. And so I have done, I've read books, but watched why? YouTube videos, because I'm a preparer. And, but why He's did an in the moment kind of guy. Well, I think it's actually the opposite now that I've, I've thought about it a bit. And I honestly think it's because I live so far in the future that whenever you told me that it was just like well of course okay that makes sense do you yeah. do you see that not everything but a lot of things it's just like well i've already i've already in my brain and in my heart and in my mind i think cried like, over this moment so many times and yeah. already have lived it so many times in my head that like now that it's actually happening like it already happened for me like four years ago in my ha in my heart and in my mind and in my tears, it happened. That makes sense. Kind of like the overall, like financially, when you're preparing this, like we need to start buying cars that would be conducive yeah. for a car seat. We need to look at apartments that we can have a nursery in. Um, we you need to set up your job yeah. like that. Absolutely, the big picture kind of things that like you have that headspace for. Absolutely. But like the day to day, like yeah. what diapers are we going to buy? <laughs> yeah. <no. laughs> the, yeah. The, um, and like, you know, just decisions and whatever, what actually makes a difference in the long run and which one's just up to like personal preference. So this is what I'm saying that I went completely into like yep. research and watch every mom vlog I could ever see watch. Um, or listen to doctors talk about it, listen to, like, moms talk about it, listen to, like, nurses, and, like, my <laughs> whole TikTok feed yeah. changed. There's, like, not a single video that's – I think I think that it was right, no, no. very, very clear that I'm having a baby when my – when I went to the Taylor Swift concert, oh. the videos that I saw were how to pack – to pump at the concert that was the videos that i saw are your tiktok feet yes like obviously i had like what are we gonna wear like what are the chants like like what do you think that she's gonna like play and like i watched the like live streams and all that stuff but i had so many videos of like legally like you're allowed to bring this into the stadiums. so that's when you're saying it became real for you no i think that that shows how much my content changed oh, yeah. so quickly that like in February, I was getting like how to pack to pump at the. Have you heard of the Amazon story? And then we're actually going to jump into. I want to get some questions. Have you heard of the Amazon story before? About uh, I'll just tell it. And if you have, like, you can just tell like me. Like the after. Amazon rainforest, or like no, Amazon, like like Amazon, Amazon Prime. So basically, what happened is a dad. No, Amazon told a girl. That she was pregnant before she knew. Mm, I've heard of that before. Because basically what was happening is just because of like her home. I guess it was like her hormones and her emotions and what she was just actively searching in her change. And the content that she started consuming. Mm. I don't even think it was baby stuff. Like it just it it like it popped up on there. Baby stuff began to pop up on there before she even knew she was pregnant. Mm. And so then that's why she actually went to go test. I've heard that like husbands find out because like this stuff has changed before. Like, my and I may knows. have gotten that wrong. I think what may it could also be there's some way I think the dad played into that. Yeah. So I may have got that a little bit wrong, but Something yeah. Like that. Okay, hot seat. Let's go. Okay, so why besides like safety, but like. Why shouldn't you fully submerge a baby in water probably the first week or two? They're still learning to breathe. 
besides the like fully bes- submerged, but not like underwater. Their face underwater, oh. but like like chest down. You can't get them too too wet. Why? And their skin so fragile. No, their skin has been in the water, water right? for nine months. Okay, so baby has come out. Baby has been in water, but now you once they're out of water, you can cl- like do a sponge bath. Yeah, no, but you can't. But you fully have to be very, very them. careful about getting one specific thing, like wet. Oh, oh, it's it's their belly button, right? Yes, the umbilical cord. Good job. Yeah, or I'm imagining that it could be not so good too if. Th- it's a. It's supposed to dry off, dry out, and fall off. Okay. Basically, oh. so you just can't like get it wet. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, let's go. Okay. Um. So start to finish. How would you change a diaper? Just like a wet diaper. Don't even think like dirty, like poopy diaper. How would you do this? What would you do first? I would. <laughs> okay. Okay. I haven't even YouTube this one yet, so. You think about a question? Should I change it? No, 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 no. Okay, so I think you would take off the sides of, like, the little Velcro things. Okay. Would you have laid anything down before? <laughs> His oh. mind is blown. <laughs> would you have laid, like, even just, like, a diaper pad, like a blanket, like a changing blanket or a diaper pad before. Assuming that you weren't doing this, like, at our diaper changing station, would you have laid anything down? Like, if we were doing this on the floor or uh, on the... I would have laid down, like, a blanket. Okay, yeah. But, like, specifically for like, that we would use for... I would, yeah, if we, I would have laid down a blanket, but then I would have been like, I wonder, wait, I wonder if we have something specific for this. We do. We can talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I'm yeah, saying yeah. that's what my mindset would have been. Yeah. So then I probably would have. Yeah, the cat just came in. Yeah. Got that. You would just have like a blanket. Yeah, I would have just had a blanket. You should lay the clean diaper underneath. Already open so that when you take the other diaper out, you already have that diaper. Yes, I would have done that. Okay. <laughs> that just makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I would have done that. Okay, two more. Or let's just do one more. Okay. Um, so within like the first couple months of life, and obviously babies progress at different stages. Okay. So with that in mind, what are you working up to to – do approximately 10 to 15 minutes a day of. 10 to 15 minutes a day? Mm-hmm. And it's not all at one time. You do like one minute here, one minute here, two minutes here. What are we thinking about as we play with our newborn? Oh, um, like we're basically trying to help it's either going to be um motor skills or it's going to be like basically helping doing something to help them with their eyes that's right correct so i'm talking specifically the like motor skills not fine motor skills but just more like strengthening trying to get them to grab that'd be fine motor skills oh wait but this is a specifically like a 10 to 15 minute thing that you should be doing every day within like the first few weeks. I, I don't know. And it gradually builds up. And so it's then it's like 30 minutes as the months progress and goes on and on. But again, it's not all in one sitting. I think the, oh no, I think the first thing that you work on is like strengthening the neck. Mm-hmm. So like you're trying to lay that baby on tummy mm-hmm. and like get them to look up. Yes, yes, exactly. And so what are... I cheated. Why? I have an AI over there. <laughs> I'm joking, I didn't. It sounded like I cheated. A, that, that's good, that's good. I'm glad you know that. So what, how does that look? You don't always just like lay the baby on their stomach. What are maybe three options that you can do that count as tummy time? 
Oh, Tommy Thompson name. That makes so much more sense. Okay. Um, I think that you could also just like have the baby laying on their back and does that not work? <laughs> they're laying on their tummy because yeah. they're, la- they're supposed to be laying on their back for like safe sleep. So they'll be laying on their back for like 90% of the time. Oh, okay. Besides if like you're holding them and whatever. Um, but specifically when we're doing tummy time, how can you do that if they can't even lift their head up? What are things that count as tummy time? I don't know. So you can prop a pillow underneath them and help them. Or whenever you're laying them on their on your chest and they're like chest like this, then that's also counting as tummy time. Oh, okay. Sorry, I backed away from the mic. Oh, no, you're fine. Huh. So like, obviously just like, obviously just like on the floor, that would, but they can't hold their head up yet in like <laughs> the first couple days of their life. So like, obviously you could like lay them on the floor, but they can't hold their head up the first. So you're doing like a couple minutes at a time mm. to like help them like raise. And this isn't like, you also have to think like they also have the umbilical cord thing. So they're not like laying on their stomach as much until that super fall. That, and so that falls off. And so it's just kind of like learning, but how, much, first, how long does that take to heal? Mm, I would say within like 10 days. Mm. I'm assuming, I don't know if someone can correct me. Mm. Um, but a really good one to like lay skin to skin. That probably is the best way to mm. start off doing that. Um, yeah. Hmm. That's fun. If a baby is crying, so there's five S's, name three. <laughs> no. Okay, I definitely don't have this one. They said it at the birthing class. Oh. <laughs> I don't remember this. I do know what you're talking about. I I like. I I'm, don't even think I remember all five, but I think I can name off at least it's three. It's like... I don't know. Okay, try. Try. What are the five S's? <laughs> I know one is swaddle. Oh. One is like swaying or swinging kind of motions. Uh, one is shushing, like sound. I don't remember the other two, honestly. Okay. I think one might have to do with like a pacifier or something. Hmm. I'm not sure. That's fine. Let me look up the other two. I'll just put it up on. Oh, well, you can look it up. Yeah. That's fine. I, that's not what I was thinking. I was definitely thinking like the sounds that you're supposed to make. When Suck. You- yes. Um, and side stomach position. Yes, uh-huh. the side. I forgot about the side thing. But yes, sucking. Um, so either like a feeding thing or a pacifier. So I was right with that. I think the other one is. But hmm. if you're like swaying back and forth with the baby, mm-hmm. instead of just like holding them in the like cradle position, maybe like tilting them to their side. Yeah. Hmm. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Okay, we should probably wrap it up. It's been... Somewhere around 50 minutes, give or take, with a few different cutouts, but... Our cats are impatient. (laughs) You said that we need to go to bed. For you guys who are interested in what the baby is, gender-wise, then definitely, I guess, subscribe, because the hospital vlog will reveal that, like, obviously... Obviously, our Instagrams or Facebooks and stuff will be the first. Yeah, but we don't want people following us on our Facebook. We don't want people adding us on our Facebook accounts. Like Okay, yeah, like our personal Facebooks, no, I guess. Yeah. But we have like a page, right? Yeah, yeah, we do have the Klein Clan page, which will be switched. But like you wanted to create like a reel on your personal Instagram, and I have, you know. Yeah. I have TikToks that I want to do, too. Yeah. So, So, I mean, you'll see it on our social media first, but then obviously subscribe to see the hospital vlog to see how it all goes down. So, that will go in the the same place that you're watching this video. That's where that will go. So, go ahead and check out our last podcast if you're interested. And you can find that right over here.